you want to be the first player? Sure. Okay. So we go on a signpost. I'm going to go up this signpost because it's nearby. Okay. No, we have to put the other guy down as well, don't we? No, no. <laughs> oh, that's the moving spot. That's how, how you move. So, I we'll see. go through this. Okay, so, do not move the sun on the first round. Oh, and they've got sticky bottoms so they don't slide around. Yeah, so there's, it's, it's very careful to, uh, to sort of um, support the... All Minis games aren't precise enough sort of euro -y player. Okay, so begin with the first player, then going clockwise through to the last player, you must take your turn because it's in the following three actions. Choose templates, move your photographer, take a photo. So you will choose a movement template and an aperture template. Mm -hmm. Touching is choosing, you cannot change to another one. Much of what makes Redwood interesting play is using your ability to estimate distances based on components lying flat on the table and on the game board. You must choose from those available in the general supply and from those lying in front of other people. If you choose one belonging to another person, they get a VP. You cannot choose the ones lying in front of you from the previous round. Now that you've chosen your things, uh, return your remaining ones to the supply. And what is this? Is that number so that's one? the objective, the first objective. So I'll get to that when we do the photography thing. Um, so you move using your template. You can't lay your template so that it overlaps an animal or another photographer, but you can overlap anything else. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to take a picture in the direction of a card. Uh, yes, yeah, so there, there's so you want to take a picture that fulfills these conditions e each round, and the, the conditions will increase as the rounds go on. So if some cryptic solar eclipse happens, then I get a pine okay. cone. So each uh, thingy has little holes underneath them. Oh, right. If you get that hole over something, you have taken a precise shot, which is what that objective requires. Uh, so, you achieve a perfect photo when part of one of the subjects of your photo can be seen through a hole on your thingy. If you, you only score the perfect shot objective once per turn. So basically, if you get one of these, if you get that flower, you get one point. If you get the flower underneath the little hole, you'll get two points okay. at the moment. And does it have to be that yellow flower under the hole, or can it be anything that's... It has to be the yellow flower because that's our only objective. When we reveal card two, that will add objectives to your photo rather than replace them. Ooh. So in later rounds, you might be able to do it by getting the bear or, or a tree or whatever else it happens to okay. be. Okay. Um, so you will choose your orientation, you will extrapolate to see what background you're taking your photo of, which would be one of these things on the outside. If the sun was on top of the background, uh, you take a sun from the supply, which is a bad thing, I'm pretty sure. No, one is good, two is bad. Okay, sure. Uh, duh, 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 there's the string, place the panorama card. So you can only take each panorama once. And I need to get the animal bang in. I can't partially get it in. Um, okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take, oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna take this one and this one. Okay. Uh, do I take them and then activate them or take them and then you take them? Um. My having all of my turn. Each player will take one turn, so you take your entire turn. So you're choosing your templates, now you remove your photographer. So clip your little, little template into the little gap underneath his thing. Oof. Swivel it round so it's not overlapping an animal or anybody else. And And I need to do it. Does it have to be pointing towards one of these cards? Like, if I go between these cards, is that a problem? Uh, there's no going between them. The string goes down this little line, and then wherever it hits defines. Oh, your if it's background. anywhere in that segment. Yeah, if, okay. if the string goes anywhere over that segment, it's that one. If it's that segment, it's that one, and so on. Okay, so is that where you want to be? No, not quite. Give us a sec. Give us a 
this is uh, do I have to completely cover this um banana skin? Uh to to claim it you will do, yes. Okay. Just excuse me, I'm just gonna find it. That's alright. Uh But if I'm too close to the badger, I won't be able to cover the whole badger, and that'll be badger problems, presumably. <laughs> I guess that will be badger problems. You have to completely cover them to claim them. Okay, so I don't think we're getting badger, but the thing is that it's also this way around, isn't there? Yeah. Um, okay. No, I don't think we're getting... Okay, this is fun, because... The compromise of getting the animal and the flower is intriguing. So, I do this. Okay, now take the other guy, put it on the little spot, pull the uh, previous guy and template all out in one go. Room for argument there. And that's where you're going. I mean, they've they've done a pretty <laughs> yeah, 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 job yeah, right. on it. Oh, it's fine. Uh, oh, yes. Okay. So then Make we take... aperture into your guy, rotate it however you like so it completely covers the subject you want to appear in your photo. Oh, yes. A flower, a sequoia, and or an animal. Yeah, and then I've got the little yellow flower poking out of the hole there, partially. In that little yellow flower? That's the little yellow flower. So... So, trace the line to extrapolate the axis until you reach a coloured arc at the edge of the play area. So, we're clearly in this arc. Okay, so that's your biome. Take the first card of that colour. Okay. Uh, and I put that into a sort of tableau situation. Yes, down you, here, you'll, you'll, you'll tableau that out. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So, place the panorama card down in your tableau. Um, and then each other one must go left or right of it. Mm -hmm. Take the... Uh, Animal, flower, and or sequoia corresponding to the subjects you completely covered in step A. So I think I got a purple flower, a yellow flower. I didn't get that one, but I did get this foxy fox fox. So I think I get these things. Okay. Place them on empty spaces on your new panorama. Each uh, shooting thing as a space. Um... Only the place tokens for photographs. After you choose, return all tokens which you had no thingies on the thing to the general supply. Cover everyone you can because each uncovered one will lose you victory points at the end of the game. Uh, and then I get two bonus uh, so, pine cones. Now that you have taken your photo, you can earn a pine cone for each revealed objective card whose constraint you respected. Uh, and it indicates the value. So you've got a yellow flower. Under the holes, you get two VP. You can only earn each objective card's rewards once per turn. Do, do, do. Now, uh, each animal has two favourite biomes, the five biomes on the board gate. One board, so take out your aperture, move your guy that you just photographed uh, into the new. So he'll go into any hole in the green biome because that's his favorite, other favorite biome. And I just choose one. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Yep. Groovy. Um, okay. Uh, ends after the fifth round. Uh, that's what we have to do. Okay. So I am going to go for. Say that one. Moving in gear one there. Yep, and that one. Um, so. the hole, never mind. Um, so I'll go there. So I've got the green biome and I've got a sequoia, a little red pine cone thing, a little yellow flower. So yellow flower, red coney thing and sequoia. Go up, up, up. And 
so I'll get a little pine cone for having got the little yellow flower. Uh, I didn't get any animals. I assume, oh, it's the start of the round when the sun moves around and stuff. So, so if the sun goes, ooh, and as it flies over, it flips the next objective card. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it's your turn again. It appears to be just first play, it just goes first. So now, this objective card. Someone behind you. Uh, it, plus one pine cone if the biome of your photo is from one of the two biomes opposite where the sun currently is. Makes sense. So if you're taking a photo in one of these two things. Okay, and I want to uh, do the first objective. First and you one. also want to get a little yellow flower under your little hole. And also, if you get your biomes in the right sequence, you'll end up getting points. And I can use this one again, or do no? I... You can use any ones I can other than those. Two. Point for you can those. pay me a VP to use one of these two, or you can choose one of the ones that are on the table. You cannot use the ones you just used. Mm -hmm. That's one of the few permanent rules for this. And um, do I have to, once I chose both of the templates, do I have to fully place this before I start messing around with the... Yes. Yeah, that would seem reasonable. Okay, I'm going to take that. And... And that. Okay, so put your old templates back into the supply. Ah. So they become available for you immediately. Yep, and then place your new movement template. Footy, 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 foot. I think there. Okay, put your guy on the spot and take the template and stuff out. Pop in your aperture. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, missed the hole. Okay, so you're going to get that as your biome card. Yep. And then I think you've got that stag and the little yellow flower. Uh, yeah, so I get the stag and the little yellow flower yeah. and one point for the little yellow flower and, and one point for the sun being behind you. Yeah. Okay, and you put your card down and put your dudes across the card. And these don't connect together, is that a problem? They, they, it will reduce the number of points you could potentially score. The longest run of connected biomes I think gets a certain number of points. I'll be brutally honest, I don't immediately remember, but yeah, yeah, generally good. connecting is good, but not crippling. Okay. Right, so ideally I'm going to take a photo across this biome of that flower. So I want to end up sort of over there. Can you stand in the puddle in the middle? Uh, I believe so. What did it say? There was something about the lake. I do remember something about the lake. It's not that it blocks movement, but it might be worth points or something. Lake in the middle of the game board is nuclear area. A photographer entirely in the lake is not considered to be in any of the five biomes. Uh, yeah, the lake doesn't really seem to do anything very much, to be brutally honest. I mean, being entirely in the lake is It'd be quite, it'd quite, the achieve, quite the achievement. Uh, right, so I want to end up roughly in that direction with a thing of roughly that length. So I think I'll take that movement Ooh. thing. Uh, and that's aperture. Mm -hmm. So these will go back to the supply. And I'm gonna pink that in there. Go. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm gonna be too close. 
Can you take pictures of lots of different, uh, sorry, of the same biome lots of different times, or do you have to take different biome photos? Uh, you, I think you, can, I think you can take them repeatedly. Um, but presumably, there's a points disadvantage for not lining well, up your thing. Well, you up. can't get the strip of thingies. Right. And eventually, the bio, if the biome stack runs out. You are no longer allowed to orient the access towards the outer edge of that biome. So if it runs oh, out, I just realised that the biomes always attach in the same order. So because I went from one side to the other, they were never going to attach. I figured these were random, but they're not. No, no, no. They're yeah. They, the board I is see. physically. I see. Okay. Well, that's a, a learning moment. Yeah, I can't get him under the hole again. Um. That will have to do me. It appears that I'm into photographing this specific set of... Um, Just trying to get the perfect shot. Fauna. Not interested in animals in Apparently any way. Apparently not, no. I'm, I'm very much a fauna photographer. Oh, and this one's only got two jobbies on it. Uh, well, I'm going to take... Does it make any difference if I get like lots of sequoias or something? Oh, if you get sets of these other guys... So I'll take a sequoia and a flower. I'll get two pine cones, the biome and the flower. Mm -hmm. Doop uh, That's me done. Then the sun goes toot 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 toot. And now we additionally. Uh, if at least two, ah, if at least two of the little jobbies on your panorama remain empty, you get three immediate pine cones. Okay. Now, it doesn't say that you're forced to place all the tokens that you take, so you don't, this doesn't appear to be that you have to make a super elite photograph and only and pick what, out one thing. What is the disadvantage to leaving them, because you said that you lose yes, points. Yes, they end, lose you points. Them. Where are we? Scoring, expert game. Uh, so each unoccupied slot loses you one pine cone. So, okay, so you make one VP here. Well, it depends. If you did that one, which has two, three slots, you would lose two and gain three. If you took that one that only has two slots, you'd lose one and gain three. So that one would give you two. That would give you a net plus one. That would give you a net minus. plus all the previous considerations of sun behind you. So that will now be these two. Fun. This is fun. <laughs> I like. Um, I mean, these two just look the same to me. I think some of them are e e exact copies because oh, that's not, surely not. No, it's, oh, okay, it's not very not perfect different. copy. Yeah, they're just very close. Yeah, they are very close. But obviously, given that some are taken out of circulation. Okay, so put your old ones back in. Move your deep. <laughs> oh no, that's much longer than I expected.
Okay, so which biome are you taking the photograph of? It's very close, isn't it? Um, I think it's this one. Really? <laughs> okay, let's see, because I think it's over that signpost. And I think the signpost is a choice. Yeah, it's definitely hitting the signpost. Uh, it just it hits the signpost on the side of the signpost that is in the blue area. If your points, so you can choose either if you're hitting the signpost, oh, that's effective of which way it's leaning. That's elegant. So I will go um, this way. Okay. Um, so you're getting. We'll give you the flowers being under the dot. Yep. And a uh, whatever that is, a stoat or something. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you're looking at the things underneath it. So uh, it's yes to the sun. Yes. But I'm not getting the two. Bogies. So it's, it's yes to the flower, and the flower being under the hole. Yes to the flower. Yes to the flower being under the hole is an additional one. Okay. Um, but you don't get if you're placing those guys, you're not getting the um, the additional for having an empty spacey. And then these stoat is the stoat, yeah. Moves to the grey biome. So There. Um, and great biomes getting a little crowded. Right, I'm going to go with this one, and I think um, this one. So go back. Just the flower. Can't you um, can't you get the sequoia as well like that? I don't. I'm gonna. I'm going for the um, oh, only see. having one thing because I'll lose two and gain one. So I'll just take the flower. So it gives me three for having empty spots, mm -hmm. and one for having the little flower, mm -hmm. and one for having the sun behind me. Mm -hmm. Okay, then the sun moves on, and it's also going to reward us for two pine cones if your, photog if your little line is pointing exactly at an animal, but the animal is not in any way overlapped by the actual aperture. So okay, if you point at an animal, don't take a photo that, of it. Yeah, got it. Not that. Got it. Hmm. I like how the complexity builds with the objectives. It's yeah, really, yeah, yeah, really yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, also, because I'm trying to get uh, a nice panorama, the desert is now completely devoid of uh, animals. Hmm. That's okay, you can go the other way around. Yeah, I could take one of the mountain, but that wouldn't be opposite the sun. Can you score these things twice with a single photo? No, no. Each one you only score once with each photo. Mm -hmm. Fancy taking a picky of a bear. Let's see if I can take a picky of a bear. Snarly. So I 
it's going to be that one. And I presume you can't leave the area. Uh, no, your your um, templates can, but you've got to end up on it. Mm. Something like this. I think I'm going to go with these two. <laughs> oh, no, I should have. Sorry, I could have taken the Sequoia last time. If you don't mind, I'm going to take it. Because mm -hmm. I still get the three for having one space empty, but I won't lose as many points. Mm -hmm. so the answer to that one. Okay, so I think... Is that hovering the aperture before making the movement? Yep. I don't know if that's permitted. Well, I don't think so either. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. Uh, so Penalise me as you will. Uh, so I think there are two flowers there, only one of which qualifies for the scoring, but one of them is under the hole. Is the, oh, the, you've got two yellow flowers. There's a yellow flower I there okay. and one there. Okay. Um, uh, which biome are you photographing? Oh, actually, if I did that... No, I don't think I can. Hmm? Sorry, I'm just optimising. Okay. I'm seeing if I can if I can target that guy whilst still getting the flower under, but I don't think I can, so I'm going to continue as I was. Um, oh, because that's a four. Uh, so maybe we... Yeah, I am actually going to, I'm going to ignore the victory point for the partial hole. And I'm going to say, well, that's two flowers, okay. a sequoia and a purple, sorry, a thingy there. So that's one for that. One for, sorry, two for pointing at that thing. Yep. Um, the sun is not behind you. No, but I am taking the sun. Okay, so you get a sun token. Yeah. And so <clears> the <throat> sun has to go over one of your uh, slots on your panorama, is what taking the sun means, I believe. Sure. I'm not sure I think about that. so. I thought it said something about having to cover the thing. Uh, if you had to take a sun, place it on the sky portion of the card. Be careful not to cover. There you go. Okay. So. So, one for the flower, mm -hmm. two for the picture of an animal at long range. Yep. And then all this gubbins here. Yeah, for <clears> that guy <throat> being in the background. Mm. Okay, if you can get your other person out of the way. Sorry, hold on. Put this back and that back. And this. <clears throat> so like to photograph I'll pick this up now and the rule is I'm stuck with it so um, and I'm gonna go with that guy Okay, so I'm going to take that yep. guy. I've got a point for the sun being behind me. Yep. A flower and that little purpley flower. Yep. So a point for the flower, a point for the flower being under the hole. Yep. Uh, I'm not going to cover all the things, so I'll get three points for not covering all the things. Don't have an animal, and that's that. Doop, doop, doop. Those guys there. And, oh. Oh.
Hey, hon. Yeah, I think it's sort of switched off in my pocket and I tried to text you, but I think I'm out of credit. So um, just playing Redwood will be done in about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes or so. Oh. Cool. I'll grab lunch on the way home. Uh, like I say, I think I should be setting off in about half an hour, if that. Okay. Love, 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 love. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. Okay, and so the final objective. And that one seems fairly explanatory. Have an, an animal overlapped. If an animal is partially covered by your thingy, get three pine cones. Got it. Partially, but not entirely. So if you can't claim the animal. Mm -hmm. Oopsie daisy. Mm, no, now there are too many things to think about. <laughs> it's only for one round of, of big brain thinking, burning, yeah. So. yeah. Um. Okay, so I think we go... And I can't take a picture of the photographer. Shoot for that and that. Okay. I just want to go back in the supply. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's see what we can do here. Okay, that's good. So, um, I'm pointing at this. Yep. I'm taking a picture of a flower. Okay. Which gets me the, and it's under the hole, so that gets me two rich points. Okay. <laughs> um, I have a partial animal, and I am pointing at an animal. Oh, what, this squirrel? I'm pointing at this squirrel, and I have a partial whatever that is. Okay. Um, I'm not getting the sun behind me, but I am getting two empty Kajongas. Okay. Even though I'm actually getting three empty Kajongas, because I'm not getting that or that. Oh, no, there's a little flower under there, isn't there? Yes. Oh, there's a little purple flower under there, so I don't get the worst of it. Okay. Oh, but I have naffed up my panorama again. <laughs> I think I've been overly focusing on the panorama, to be fair, so... Now... I kind of wanted that short move, but... I'm not going to pay you for it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Unnecessary um, belligerence. <laughs> might be worth more than one VP to you. It might, but I'm gonna... Do you pay one of your VPs or do I just gain a VP from the supply? Is it a one or a two point swing? I don't know. I'm not gonna do it, so I'm not gonna bother looking it up. Um, I think... I think I want the short fat one. Yeah, 
Let's try that. Doop. Doop. You've got wet boots. Yeah, big muddy puddle. Come on. Hmm. Yeah, I think that line is pointing at that bear. Yeah, I'll give you a bear's tail. Uh, so we've got this panorama. Mm -hmm. I'm partially overlapping a beaver uh, for a couple. His little paws are under the thing. Oh yes, fair enough. I am pointing at that bear, but he is not in the thing. Mm -hmm. I've got the sun behind me. Uh, I'm going to not be covering all the things. What have I actually taken a photograph of? I think I have taken a photograph of that little purple. Yeah, a very panoramic shot of one flower. Okay. There we go. Okay. Would so, you like a pencil? Uh, a pencil is probably a good idea. So, there's a scoring sheet. Scoring. Well, there's a for both of us, so you can. Use oh this right, one okay. For both Just needs one. Okay. So starts with number of pine cones. So six, nine, twelve, Count the number of different animals you have in your entire row. Uh, none. Three. So three different ones gets you three pine cones. Uh, oh no, that should be here. Yeah. Animal. Uh, and each token is worth number of pine cones according to its species. Um, I think I've marked on them, so seven. Okay. Uh, your panorama is the greatest number of adjacent cards are harmonised perfectly. Count the number of harmoniously connected contiguous cards in your row of cards. Two. Uh, so two gets six points. Oh, I don't get nothing. That's good. Four gets 15 points. I've got five, but apparently you don't get anything for five. Oh, you've over-optimised. I did indeed. Uh, we've done our harmony tokens. Sun tokens, so you get four points for having one sun token. I've got one. I get zero for having zero sun tokens. And how many do you get for two? Two, you get minus two. Ooh, okay. So it's actually worse than having none. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. One one or nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, so, sequoias? Where are the sequoias? Uh, each sequoia earns you two. So one, two, three. So I've got six for that. How many sequoias? Two for me. I mean, one sequoia for that's two points. Uh, oh, one sequoia for two points. Okay. Then empty dots give you minus one each. So one, two, three, four, five, six for me. Minus four for me. Minus six for me. Minus four for you. Uh, uh, each flower earns you one pine cone. So one, two, three. Seven. Nine. Okay. So that's it. Everything else I think is uh, expert mode. So uh, 38 is 45 for me. And uh, 36, 42, 38 mm -hmm. is 47 for you, so you've won by two points. Hooray! Nice and close. Cool.